realize, let's uh, uh, get a start a part C. As I mentioned in the part two, uh, you need to download a NetCDF file uh, for each year separately and then combine the time series of each year in order to have a long-term uh, time series of flow. As you can see in, the, in this uh, sheet, uh, I've downloaded uh, the fast data sets from 1979 to uh, 2012. So, uh, in order to, to, uh, to do uh, flood frequency analysis, we should uh, calculate or extract the maximum uh, flow value in each year. And so, in order to do this issue, you should uh, select both uh, columns and then go to the insert tab and in, in this tab uh, you can select a pivot uh, table. Uh, and click on OK and in this sheet you should uh, define the row and column of uh, type series and uh, define the a function for extracting uh, maximum values of uh, full value. So uh, first of all uh, I should select a uh, column and drag it into the values and select date uh, option and uh, uh, drag it to rows uh, section. So uh, in this section you should uh, uh, click on uh, the date uh, uh, row and uh, click on remove field because uh, we want to calculate the maximum annual uh, full values in each year. So I remove other fields and in, uh, in this row uh, click on years and go to the field setting and <coughs> click on custom and select maximum and this function helps you to extract the maximum flow values in each year and so click on ok and let me remove these parts ok let me remove this Item and click it on values. Let me remove it. Values maximum. Okay, uh, that's okay. Uh, as you can see, for each year, for example, for 1979, the maximum flow value is uh, one thousand uh, and uh, four hundred. 30 cubic meter per second and for other years you can uh, find each maximum uh, flow values in that year. Okay, uh, so uh, we need these uh, values in order to calculate flood frequency analysis. Let me copy these values and paste in this here and we can plot the column chart of this data set. Okay, uh, you know, we have about 34 years of data set uh, for this uh, station. And so uh, you need to uh, copy uh, of the maximum annual data sets and go into the other software which is called uh, EasyFit. EasyFit is a uh, appropriate uh, software for calculation of uh, flood with different returns and uh, period. And so uh, I right click in this pixel and click on paste and you know uh, we have 34 data set. Uh, you know EasyFit uh, is a statistical uh, software that uh, fits uh, several uh, distribution functions into the data set and based on some criteria select the best uh, uh, distribution. Well, in order to, to do this uh, uh, fitting uh, uh, probability distribution, click on the fit distributions or uh, click uh, F9 button, click on OK and it's a start to fit lots of uh, distribution. For example, uh, uh, you, you, must, uh, you can see uh, Pearson 5, I mean 30 parameter, is the best uh, suit for these uh, data, data sets and also 
Pearson, full parameter and load normal, JSON SP and other uh, distributions uh, respectively performs well. In, in this uh, software, uh, you can uh, define the criteria in order to find the best uh, distribution. Uh, please uh, click on tools and in range by you can uh, find three different methods for example Coleman of Smirnoff, Anderson Darling and chi -Square. Uh In each uh, criteria you use a specific uh, threshold to find the best uh, distribution that suits best on uh, observed data sets uh, and you know in flood frequency analysis uh, Kolmogorov of Smirnoff is the best uh, method for defining the best uh, distribution functions. And so, uh, in this case, Pearson 30 parameter is the best function, and the other 30 parameter is the worst method, worst distribution functions uh, for our case. And also, uh, you can plot other. Uh, other uh, other functions, for example, you can plot cumulative distribution functions and also survival uh, function and also other function and other function. Uh, but uh, the most important part we should pay attention to that is uh, PP plot. Uh, as you can see, uh, the um, P model and the P empirical uh, axis uh, reflect the uh, probability based on uh, this uh, distribution function and the uh, uh, x-axis uh, reflect the probability of uh, empirical data sets, uh, I mean observed data sets. Uh, you know, uh, a distribution function is best suited when the data set is, uh, is around uh, this uh, line and for example, in Nakagami or Vago, uh, you can find the, uh, the tolerance of these points around the uh, blue line is uh, higher than normal. And other uh, distribution functions shows bad performance in estimation of uh, probability. Okay, based on Kolmogorov Smirnov, uh, I should select PSM5 method for estimation of flood frequency. However, keep in mind that uh, you should select uh, a method or a distribution that is uh, widely used in hydrological simulation. For example, in hydrological simulation, we don't use Johnson SP or Nakagami distributions. And in these uh, cases, uh, you should select the best or well uh, known. Uh, distribution function in your studies, for example, Pearson uh, uh, probability distribution function is one of the most widely used in estimation of flood frequency analysis in all uh, parts of the world. And so, in this case, uh, I want to select these distribution functions and calculate floods with different return space. And so, uh, double click on this function. And you can see the uh, functions parameters and you can click on this icon in order to obtain uh, information about the formula the formulas of this function. Pearson tip 5 distributions, the probability density function is like this and cumulative distribution function is like this. And alpha, beta and gamma is the distribution uh, uh, parameters. And the model automatically calculates these uh, values based on observed data sets. So, uh, click on uh, explore using uh, stand axis and uh, go to the calculations and in the inverse CDF you can calculate the flood with different return uh, period. Okay, let me write, for example, this is P. Uh, as you know, uh, the, uh, the return period is defined based on the probability and T is equal 1 per E. Okay, uh, in this uh, model or in software, uh, you should uh, calculate inverse CDF. And so, 
you need to uh, calculate 1 minus e. For example, uh, if you want to calculate the flood with different uh, uh, for return period for the probability of uh, 0.5, it is equal to 1 divided to this value. And it means that uh, this probability equals to return periods of 2. And also, uh, other return periods, for example, 2, uh, 5, 10, 25, 15, 100, 200, 1500, and 1000, which is used for uh, for example, for its building design or uh, hydraulic structure, and also these values used to uh, calculate or study river engineering uh, projects. And so, uh, and let me calculate. Okay. These are uh, key values, and also, uh, as I mentioned, in order to calculate uh, flood with different return periods based on easy field, you should uh, you should calculate or estimate the inverse CDF. So, uh, I calculate this formula: one minus p, and so divide it to the lower rows. So, and let me call this Q T. So, uh, as you can see for P value of uh, 0 0.5, the flood frequency, uh, the flood value is equal to this number. So, let me copy. Okay. Uh, this shows that flood with different return periods of 2 is equal to uh, 582 uh, cubic meter, uh, meter per second and also for other return periods you should be, uh, enter these values these values into the uh, easy fit software okay let me enter this value this value and so copy and paste and these are different return periods. Also, 96 and the flood is equal to uh, 1,300 uh, cubic kilometers and the other value is 98 return period the value of flood is inclusion which is completely obvious okay this is the final value and so you can plot is value okay and you know or you can use look at me scale for this can see uh, the, this curve shows the variation of uh, return uh, values and flood values and also for each uh, return period for example for 75 years you can calculate the 1 minus p value and then you can calculate this value okay let me calculate this Okay. One minus three. Okay. You can 
uh, copy and you can calculate uh, float values for your uh, desired return period okay, excuse me let me copy this value okay, and so on and you can calculate for each uh, return period uh, related, uh, you can calculate flood values related to each uh, return uh, period, and this is a practical approach to do flood frequency analysis in river engineering studies. Uh, and uh, this is uh, this calculation is based on a maximum annual uh, data set. Uh, however, if you have uh, uh, overlay data sets, uh, overlay maximum flood data sets, you can uh, calculate a flood uh, frequency analysis based on uh, instantaneous uh, flood values. Uh, and as you know, in most cases studies we don't have uh, enough information about uh, peak flood values and so in this uh, example uh, I use uh, maximum annual data set in order to calculate flood with different return periods and you know uh, GLUFAS helps us to calculate uh, this important uh, uh, floods for our case study and so uh, we can use uh, these values for flood inundation mapping and uh, river engineering studies for example river restoration or uh, <coughs> flood rings uh, you can use a uh, request and enter these values to uh, calculate or estimate flood inundation for each flow uh, values. Okay, I uh, hope uh, this course uh, helps you to um, calculate uh, uh, flood frequency analysis easily for your case study. And if you have any other uh, question or uh, problems about uh, this uh, process, uh, don't hesitate and uh, contact me. And I try myself and try my best to answer all my uh, questions. Uh, have a good time. See you in the next courses. Bye bye.